Hi everyone, my name is Elaine, and today I'm going to be sharing 10 things I feel you should be doing each day on Unison League. Let's get started. First on my list is login. If you don't, that's a bit of a problem, you know, at least in regards to this video. Logging in allows you to collect any login bonuses the game may currently be running and receive 5k gold from your daily missions, which isn't really good for anything but collecting can be satisfying, I guess. Number two, attend at least one guild battle or raid. Attending guild battle or raid each day allows you to collect a single gem from your daily missions, which can be extremely helpful for free to play players especially, since they won't be generating gems as quickly as pay to play players. This is especially true toward the later game when they've already received all the the gem rewards possible from normal and other quests. In addition to receiving a minimum of 7 extra gems a week, 8 if you participate in guild battle or raid 10 times or more in the course of a week, attending guild battle also allows you to receive various rewards like experience and proficiency, which scales depending on your block. You get more from being an S than you would in B, for example, and more if your guild wins than if it loses. This can be helpful for newer players who are still trying to level up steadily or who need the proficiency to do things like unlock new abilities. Attending raid and doing well gives your guild a chance to receive rewards the following day. They appear in one's presence and include things like bonus gems. Number three. This ties into my last point. Make sure you clear at least five daily missions every day. Clearing these missions, which includes things like logging into the game, attending a guild battle or raid, and clearing three quests of your choice, allows you to complete this daily mission and rewards you with 30 gem fragments. When you collect 100 fragments, you can forge a single gem. That's a gem every three to four days. Again, helpful for free to play players, especially. Number four, again, this ties into my last point and should be easy if you're actively completing it. Steadily work toward completing four weekly missions, which includes things like clearing 40 quests of your choice and augmenting 10 times, so you can get those two bonus gems, because who doesn't like bonus gems? Number five, converse with and or feed your pets. Feeding your pets makes them stronger, giving you bonus stat sticks you didn't have before. 20 to 40k in points depending on the type of pet and whether or not they're maxed out. Talking to your pets increases their happiness and makes it more likely that they'll show up during quests and use one of their abilities to help you. These abilities can be things like decreasing an enemy's physical attack by 10% for 10 seconds and increasing your magical defense by 10% for 10 seconds, which is a nice little bonus for minimal effort. Number six, go into town and visit your room. Make sure you browse five other rooms a day and like them to increase your room's level, which steadily unlocks more furniture slots. The furniture increases your stats, things like physical and magical attack. Given the current stats of furniture gear, this can be a boost of about 20 to 30k or so across all of your stats. As an added bonus, some furniture gear have skills, which include things like increasing your resistance against blindness or increasing your resistance to confusion by one point. Number seven, run quests to use up your AP. This is really helpful because it'll help level your furniture gear and make it stronger if it isn't maxed out already, allowing you to get the most out of your furniture gear. Running normal quests will also allow you to rank up so you can do more within the game and unlock all of the classes. Running quests also increases your experience, making you stronger over time, mainly by increasing your access to gear slots and cost and making it possible for you to equip more gear. These are only a few examples of the benefits. Run those quests, peeps! Number eight. Send out your expedition limamin as often as you're able. This allows you to receive a small bonus like friendship points, gold, reforge materials, and limamin cookies, which you can exchange for rewards like experience quest keys and droplets of ether. It also helps you to complete one of your daily missions, which is to complete two expeditions, which rewards you with 60 proficiency. Number nine, if you're on a device that's capable, basically anything other than a Kindle, do your video spawns. In addition to being given the chance to receive new gear, which can help newer players especially beep up the character, most video spawns are step up, which can reward you with things like the current event quest item and droplets of ether. For older players, it can be helpful because we can sell the gear we get to receive recycle medals and then exchange those medals for things like a Blue Knight series guaranteed ticket, which we can use to infuse our null gear. And last but not least, number 10. Complete as many event missions as you can, assuming there are any. Event missions can be anything from clearing any quest you like five times to completing the Crystal of the Sacred Altar quest three times or more in the course of a day. Some of these missions give you more time to complete than others. The time allotted will be clearly indicated in this section. The rewards you receive could be anything from extra gems to extra AP to saving tickets, which you can use to spawn rewards like gems and proficiency scrolls. Now, who doesn't love a reward for doing things you had already intended on doing? Now, some of you might be wondering why I didn't mention go fishing. Here's why. It's boring, time consuming, and the rewards are outdated even with the new updates. It's just not worth your time, especially when you consider how long some of the other tasks can take to complete. And there you have it, my list of 10 things you should be doing each time you play Unison League. What did you think of my list? Do you agree? Have I left something out? Let me know down below in the comments. I always like to know what you guys think. And if you like what you saw here today, please smash that like button until it's blue, subscribe, ring that bell so you know what's up, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys! Thank you.